This is a timeline of environmental history of New Zealand. It includes notable events affecting the natural environment of New Zealand as a result of human activity. Topic: <laughs> Pre-1700s. Fourteenth century. Arrival of Maori who brought with them the Kiore rat. Sixteenth century. Final extinction of all 11 species of Moa. 1642 Tasman is first European to reach New Zealand. Topic: 1760s. 1769 New Zealand mapped by James Cook and the Norway rat believed to have arrived in New Zealand aboard his ship, the Endeavour. Wild boar are believed to have arrived with Cook, possibly on his second voyage for trade with the Maori, called Captain Cookers in NZ. Topic: 1790s. European sealers and whalers arrive. Topic: 1800s. Gorse introduced as hedging plant. Rabbits introduced. Sheep and cattle introduced. Topic: 1830s. 1837. Australian brush-tailed possum introduced. Topic: 1840s 1840 Treaty of Waitangi Topic 1860s 1860. Shiprat spreads throughout North Island 1860 Australian magpie introduced 1861 the Protection of Certain Animals Act passed, legislated that, "...no deer of any kind, hare, swan, partridge, English plover, rook, starling, thrush or blackbird," could be shot for the rest of the decade. 1864 Wild Birds Protection Act, legislated that no wild duck, paradise duck, or pigeon indigenous in the colony shall be hunted, taken, or killed except during the months of April, May, June, and July in any year. 1867 Trout and Salmon Protection Act passed, made provision for the preservation and propagation of salmon and trout in this colony. Topic eighteen seventies Ship rat spreads throughout the South Island. Rook introduced from Europe eighteen seventy. Hedgehogs, which devour large quantities of insects, are introduced. Point one eight seven five Seal hunting restricted to a short annual season. Point one eight seven six Rabbit Nuisance Act passed. Point one eight seven nine Ferrets introduced to control rabbits even after warnings were made of their effects on bird life. Topic 1880s. 1882. Small Birds Nuisance Act passed. 1885. Stoats and weasels are liberated as a misguided attempt to control rabbits. 1887. The 23rd of September, T. Heu Heu Takino IV gifts Ruapehu, Tongariro, and Nauru Hoi to people of New Zealand. Topic: 1890s. 1890. An area of land that will become the Trunson Kauri Park is set aside by the government. 2. 1893. Rainbow trout successfully introduced by the Auckland Acclimatization Society. 1894 
protection of fur seal population due to declining numbers. Lyles wren becomes extinct, killed by cats. Tongariro National Park Act Pass.1897 Karpati Island is designated as an island reserve. Topic: 1900s. 1900 Egmont National Park established 1901 Noxious Weeds Act passed 1903 Scenery Preservation Act passed 1904 Scenery Preservation Commission appointed 1907 Tongariro National Park is formally gazetted Last known Huia sighted and then shot 1907 Population reached 1 million Topic nineteen twenties nineteen twenty one Herbert Guthrie Smith's Tutira, the story of a New Zealand sheep station is published. Animals Protection and Game Act nineteen twenty one to two hundred and twenty one thousand nine hundred and twenty three. The Royal Forest and Bird Protection Society of New Zealand is formed point one nine two nine. Attempt made to protect bush in an area near what will be the Abel Tasman National Park. 1920s Nineteen thirty six Protection removed from mustelids. Topic Nineteen forties 1941 Soil and Rivers Control Act was enforced. This was the first piece of coordinated environmental legislation in New Zealand. 1942 Abel Tasman National Park established. 1946 Possums no longer protected. 1948 Takahe rediscovered in the Murkison Mountains in Fiordland. 1949 Forests Act 1949 is passed. 1950s 1952 Waipoa Forest Sanctuary formed. Fiordland National Park established. Population reaches 2,000,000.1953 Auraki, Mount Cook National Park established. The Wildlife Act 1953 is pass.1954 Trials on usage on 1080 in New Zealand begin. The 28th of July — Te Uriwera National Park gazetted. Additions made later. 1960s 1964 Mount Aspiring National Park established. 1965 Hydro Dam proposed at Tuapeka River mouth is opposed by local residents. 1967 Rudd is illegally introduced into New Zealand. 1967 Water and Soil Conservation Act was enforced. Save Manapauri campaign gains nationwide headlines. 1970s 1970 264,907 New Zealanders, almost 10% of the population, signed the Save Manapauri petition. Environmental Defence Society is formed. 1971 Coenco is formed. The Marine Reserves Act 1971 is passed.1972 The Values Party is formed at Victoria University of Wellington. The Clean Air Act 1972 is passed.1973 Government decides to put South Island beach forests up for tender for chipping. Population reaches 3,000,000.1974 Greenpeace New Zealand is formed. 
The Save Ara Moana campaign is formed. Project Jonah is established. 1975. The 4th of July, the Maruia Declaration, calling for protection of native forests, is signed. It attracted 341,160 signatures by the time it was presented to Parliament in 1977. An import ban on all whale products is announced by government. Friends of the Earth New Zealand is formed. 1976. Koenko renamed as ECO. NZ rejoins the International Whaling Commission. 1977. The Territorial Sea and Exclusive Economic Zone Act is passed. Queen Elizabeth II National Trust Act set up to encourage the protection of private land from development. The 20th of July. The Maruia Declaration with a 341,159 signature petition is presented to government. The 23rd of December, the Reserves Act is passed, includes provision for wilderness areas. The 23rd of December, the Wild Animal Control Act is passed. 1978, treetop protest in Pureora Forest to halt the logging of native forest. The 1st of April. The Reserves Act 1977 comes into force. 1979. Five black robins left but saved from extinction by Don Merton and team. The Litter Act 1979 is passed. The 1st of January, Marine Mammals Protection Act came into force. Topic 1980s. 1980 Protests over a proposed aluminium smelter at Aramoana. See also, Independent State of Aramoana. Clyde Dam protests Native Forest Restoration Trust established to purchase and protect native forests. The National Parks Act 1980 was enforced. 1982 the approval of the water rights necessary for the High Clyde Dam is overturned on appeal in Gilmore v. National Water and Soil Conservation Authority 1982. The national government enacts the Clutha Development Clyde Dam Empowering Act 1982 to overturn the High Court case refusing water rights. 1983. Friends of the Earth NZ joins Friends of the Earth International. The 1st of October. Fisheries Act comes into force establishes a fishing quota system. 1984. New Zealand's nuclear free zone declared by the Labour government. 1985. The 10th of July bombing of Rainbow Warrior by French secret agents. 1986. The Environment Act is passed establishing the Ministry for the Environment (MFE) and the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment (PCE). Quota Management System QMS introduced to conserve fish stocks within the exclusive economic zone. Kia are given full protection. West Coast Accord signed for the protection of portions of native forest from logging. 1987 Paparoa National Park established. The 1st of January Environment Act comes into force. The 1st of April Conservation Act 1987 comes into force establishes dock fish and game 1989 The Tasman Accord is signed between Tasman Forestry Limited environmental groups and the government The 1st of June Trade in Endangered Species Act 1989 comes into force sites Topic 1990s 1990 Banning of wood chip exports Creation of Tongariro National Park World Heritage Site Creation of Te Wahipounamu World Heritage Site Green Party of Aotearoa New Zealand is formed Establishment of the Forest Heritage Fund later renamed Nature Heritage Fund Ministry for the Environment Green Ribbon Award established 1991 Protests over the mining of Ilmenite on the west coast. 
Resource Management Act 1991 passed into law. Crown Minerals Act 1991 is passed. 1993 Biosecurity Act 1993 is passed. Forests Act 1949 is amended. Forest and Bird developed the Forest Friendly Awards to classify invasive garden plants. The government launches the Environment 2010 Strategy. The 9th of June, New Zealand Post issues a set of stamps on conservation. The 1st of July, T Tua Fenua Maori Act 1993 comes into effect. The 15th of November, a West Coast environmentalist claims his house was the target of arson due to his anti-mining stance. 1994. Rats eradicated from Karpati Island. Resource consent given to mine sand in Mangafai Harbour. Basel Convention comes into force in New Zealand. 1996. Environment Court, formerly called the Planning Tribunal, is constituted by the Resource Management Amendment Act 1996 with upgraded powers. Kahurangi National Park gazetted. Fisheries Act 1996 is passed though parts of it come into force only spasmodically over the next few years. Hazardous Substances and New Organisms Act 1996 is passed. Ozone Protection Layer Act 1996 is passed. 1997 Native Forest Action commences lobbying to save West Coast forests. Wild Greens Group formed. Zero Waste Trust established. 1998 Creation of New Zealand Sub Antarctic Islands World Heritage Site. The 22nd of May New Zealand signs the Kyoto Protocol. 1999 Labour Alliance Coalition Government gains power paving the way for protection of West Coast native forests. DOC publishes Cast Management Guidelines to assist with cave and cast protection. Karori Wildlife Sanctuary construction completed, limited public access available. Proposed West Coast Ilmenite Mine project is abandoned. The Press. 6 February 1999. 2000s 2000 the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Act 2000 is passed, establishing the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Authority as a Crown agent. A gondola is proposed from Lake Wakatipu area to the Milford Sound Road. Varroa B might discovered in New Zealand. West Coast Loop Road through Conservation Land is promoted by Group of South Island Mayors. The 15th of June. Biotech Lobby Group Life Sciences Network website goes live. 3. Forests West Coast Accord Act 2000 Pass 2001 Moratorium on new marine farming applications, initially for two years. Forest restoration on the Karpati Coast. National Pest Plant Accord is developed to prevent the spread of invasive plants. German tourist fined for smuggling a gecko. 30 30th of May government announces transfer of all timberlands managed forests to dock the 18th of August McRae's mine extension turned down by Sandra Lee Verco the Minister of Conservation the 21st of October the Waigani convention came into force point two oh oh two Rakura National Park established labor-led government abolishes logging of native trees on public land Waste strategy released by the Ministry for the Environment. Ferrets no longer able to be legally bred, sold or distributed. The 25th of January, New Zealand Environment magazine launched. The 22nd of December, New Zealand ratifies the Kyoto Protocol. 2003. Government 3, a sustainability program for government department is established. YHANZ started a young environmentalist program. The WWF Living Planet Report ranks New Zealand 14th largest per capita ecological footprint. The 24th of April, 
New Zealand population is estimated to top 4 million. The 26th of May, Campbell Island declared rat free. The 26th of May, Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry, Ministry for the Environment and Fonterra signed the Dairying and Clean Streams Accord. June Consultation is sought on an agricultural emissions research levy commonly called the flatulence tax or fart tax. The 5th of September, New Zealand Environment magazine discontinued. The 11th of September, Environment Minister addresses pollution in the Rotorua lakes. The 31st of October, Businessman jailed for clearing native bush. This has set a legal precedent. 2004. Rocksnot, Didymosphenia geminata, an invasive freshwater weed, is found in some New Zealand rivers. Group to proceed with the Milford gondola. Nitrates, an increasing problem in Canterbury's groundwater. Monorail proposed to shorten tourist trip between Queenstown and Milford Sound. Pike River mine given go ahead despite protests by environmental groups. Kaikoura Green Globe Conference declaration. Rats successfully eradicated from Raoul Island. The 20th of January, two Czech visitors fined for plant smuggling. The 8th of February, 13,000 liter diesel spill in Milford Sound. The 12th of March. Mount Burnett Mining Road application turned down. The 25th of March, Cypress Mine, an open cast coal mine, is proposed for the west coast. The 29th of March, Meridian Energy proposed project Aqua is cancelled. The 10th of May, Kaikoura Island protected. Four. The 17th of May, Montreal Protocol comes into force. Five. 18 18th of October more invasive plants discovered in Auckland 6 the 3rd of November PCE releases report on the environmental effects of farming 7 the 31st of December moratorium on marine farms lifted after the passing of the aquaculture reform bill 8 2005 Non-toxic shot only is to be used for waterfowl hunting from the 2005 season onwards. The 14th of March, application lodged for mining black sands off the west coast of the North Island. The 1st of April, the Income Tax Act 2004, which makes it easier to claim environmental expenditure, comes into force. The 22nd of April, Landsborough Station purchased. The 1st of May. Pesticides blamed for killing native frogs. The 26th of May, Environment Court rules in favor of solid energy for the Cypress mine. The 1st of July, Molesworth Station transferred from Lintz to Dock. The 28th of July, first criminal conviction for killing a fur seal is handed down. September, rock snot found in the Buller River. November. Last remaining use of reusable glass milk bottles will end. The 18th of November, cavers protest about potential damage to Titahi Cave when used for adventure racing. The 20th of December, a tunnel is proposed to link Queenstown and the Milford Sound Road. 2006. The 26th of January, New Zealand is rated top in the Pilot 2006 Environmental Performance Index. February — The fishing industry proposes limits on bottom trawling. The 17th of March — Proposal to build a gondola between Queenstown and the Milford Sound Road is postponed. The 8th of April — A pipe bomb is used to blow up a conservationist's letterbox. The 9th of April to the 12th of April — Geckos are stolen from a Christchurch zoo but later recovered. The 12th of May, an application for proposed aerial walkway in the Hokitika Scenic Reserve is rejected by Department of Conservation. The 24th of October, the WWF Living Planet Report ranks New Zealand with the ninth largest per capita ecological footprint. 9, 10. The 30th of November, great white sharks will be protected within New Zealand's EEZ from April 2007.
11, 2007. January. Doc considers that almost half of the native plants and animals are threatened. The 20th of February. Wa Dollar Ted, a program investigating household sustainability, begins a two-season run on New Zealand television. The 23rd of March. Prime Minister Helen Clark puts forward aspirations for New Zealand to be the first sustainable country. The 4th of April. The OECD releases a report on the performance of the New Zealand government. The 4th of April. Bottom trawling is prohibited in selected areas. The 30th of May. Government gives $9.88 million to clean up the Tui Mine Tailings site. The 30th of November. The Orange Ruffy fishery is closed to allow stocks of the fish to recover. The 13th of December. The proposed tunnel linking Queenstown and Milford Sound is blocked by the New Zealand Conservation Authority. 2008. The Waste Minimization Act 2008 is passed. The 31st of January. Environment New Zealand 2007, a state of the environment report, is released. The 10th of February. The Green Party leak Chapter 13 of Environment New Zealand 2007 State of the Environment Report, which slates the dairy industry and the high level of consumption in New Zealand. The 20th of February. A survey shows that 53% of New Zealanders are deeply concerned that we are not doing enough to protect the environment. The 4th of March. The World Economic Forum Travel and Tourism Competitiveness Report rates New Zealand at 24 out of 130 countries for environmental sustainability. April — Greenhouse gas emissions in New Zealand are 26% higher than 1990 levels, the required level for the Kyoto Protocol. The 10th of September — the Climate Change Response Emissions Trading Amendment Act 2008 is passed, establishing the New Zealand Emissions Trading Scheme. 2009 Government 3 is discontinued. The 3rd of February, the national-led government announces reforms to the Resource Management Act. Topic 2010s. 20,102,011 June — The Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment recommends against a moratorium on 1080, citing the ensuing damage to native forests and animals if such a ban went ahead. 1 July — The Environmental Protection Authority begins operation. 5 October the container ship Rena runs aground on Astrolabe Reef, 12 nautical miles off Tauranga, resulting in New Zealand's worst oil spill. 2012 Concerns about hydraulic fracturing in New Zealand fracking are highlighted in the media. 2013 Department of Conservation publishes findings raising concerns about the impact of introduced trout on native fish. 2014 West Coast Wind Blown Timber Conservation Lands Act 2014 past 2015 Topic See also Environment of New Zealand Timeline of environmental events Timeline of New Zealand history